looking to buy an ultra modern home in a waterfall country state, good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are back in my favorite estate together with my favorite tour guide, Marusha from Luxlift Property Group, who's going to take us on a tour of this stunner behind us. As always, specs on the house. This is a five bedroom, six bathroom, three garage home. Guys, you're going to love this one. Marusha. I'm loving it already from the curb appeal because the house is absolutely magnificent and it has so much style and it is so unique. It will definitely stand out amongst all the other houses on the street and in fact in the estate. So non-slip walkway leading you straight into the entrance and it's, it's got this built-in pebble stone effect which is really great because we have the mix of the concrete and the stones. And already from here, you're gonna see how many textures are incorporated in the space in a super stylish way. You can see from your balconies and from the wooden slats, as well as the very striking steel beams. This is a very modern, slightly industrial look, but there's a lot of warmth to it. We have a bit of wood cladding and they've chosen again the very dark color. And this cladding is also on the garage doors, which is very different from your standard garage door that, that you see. So again, it stands out because it is completely different from the other houses that, you, that we usually tour. Some water effect right at the entrance. I love the sound of it. It's very welcoming. And of course, as the house, as, as the family grows into the house, I imagine even the vegetation and the landscaping will just bring it to life even further. We've stepped into the entrance hall. Beautiful double volume entrance. And from the entrance, we're gonna start seeing the uh, beautiful choice of lighting that they've uh, selected here. The owners are the builders of the house, so they've put a lot of style into it. It's fresh, it's modern, and uh, there's a uh, different elements really there's the semi-circle element of the lighting you see it now as we've stepped into the formal lounge as well but we also have the straight strip lights as well that just highlight the different room that we're stepping into and there's a lot of recessed ceilings and a lot of mood lights which i'm just going to point out as we going through the space again showing us the different rooms but also bringing more interest into the rooms. So we've got this massive open plan lounge area that I've just stepped through and you'll see the garden from the lounge. We're gonna step in there now. And this here is your dining room area. The house is semi-furnished at this stage. As I said, it's a brand new house. No one's lived in here, but imagine uh, at least eight to 10 seater big square table or a round table in this dining room space and then your lounge suite will be facing this wall that is this half wall that separates the two rooms and you can have your big tv there and again you're seeing some lights there you're seeing this um, um, onyx style stone cladding half stone cladding double sided fireplace and then a few glass shelves to showcase your beautiful pieces. Now we're gonna step towards the kitchen. They've started building cabinetry already from the dining room space. And it's the same style cabinetry that we're gonna see through the kitchen. We have the wood for warmth. We also have the white Caesar stone. You can place your beautiful artwork here as they've done. I love the display for the wine and the prized vodka bottles. I checked, they're still full. Another proof that it's a new house. All the bottles are untouched. You've got also the mirror effect and this is the tinted mirror and then some brushed gold background as well. So a ton of different textures and elements but really, really stylishly done. Again, some tinted see-through cabinetry here and now we're starting with the kitchen. And here we even have some brushed steel, really. Not, not you know, uh, slightly different from the gold. It's just picking up the colors of the uh, afternoon sun. Built-in coffee machine, oven, uh, warmer drawer, and microwave. 
and then more cupboards here, and then we're going around a ton of drawers in the kitchen. Everything here, soft clothes, of course, for this uh, quality of property. And once again, we have this same stone look that we saw cladding the TV room and the lounge area. We have that same stone on uh, the kitchen counter, as well as across here, where there's um, additional packing space and additional cupboard space. And all the drawers, this is the soft white color in super matte. The stone is also textured and it is slightly backlit. So in the evenings especially, it gives you really a beautiful look and some extra elements that they've done here. All of the appliances are Siemens. We have the mix with the electric and the gas. And um, there's also uh, backup power here, which is a must. Built-in fridges, fridge and freezer, and then a scullery just behind you. What's great really is we also have a ton of windows. These are all sliding windows. So you open your windows, summertime, you enjoy the fresh air. Later on, we're gonna see the garages as well. People love seeing garages. And these garages even have showroom style lightning as well, which is really cool. The garages are very well staged, but we're gonna see them last. I think from this direction, you can kind of see the light coming from the counter. It's not the easiest to see, if anything. But once, like you said, the sunlight starts to dissipate, we'll have the kitchen top coming up stronger and stronger with the light that comes from it. And just before we step up towards uh, some of the other rooms in the house, I just wanted to look up here. And again, they've, they've brought in extra elements even into the ceiling. So it's a recessed ceiling very cleverly designed because you have your built-in air conditioning, you have your built-in sound, but they've also, because they've recessed it, they've brought in extra lights as well. Really nicely done. Very nice. We said that it's a family home, but if anything, this is quite the entertainer's home if, if you look at all the features that it has, and we will be seeing shortly. Very much so, though judging by the full bottles, the entertaining hasn't started yet. It's waiting for... <laughs> the first owner for it to start. So as I've stepped up those three stairs, just want to point out they've brought in that warmth because it's ultra modern, because there's also touches of industrial look. You know, the wood just makes it a little bit warmer and more homely, but it's still, because it's a light wood, it keeps in with the modern look. And they've got this built-in bar area here. Again, this wooden slat cladding. And here it's darker because it, it really works very well for a bar. And even down to that black marble stone, very dramatic, just with uh, the white veins. The same stone is carried over across and then the tinted mirrors again. And now here we're starting to see those curved effects that I'm gonna point out to you also as we're going through the house. And I love how unique and different the cabinetry is. Right where you're standing and right uh, to, to my left, rather. Look at the, the, uh, the shape of this. This is like almost like a trapeze, trapezoidal or something shape, but just very different, very unique, extra texture. There's some fridges built in here and really a beautiful bar to look at. Truly, truly stunning. Nicely flowing from the dining area and the living space into the bar, into actually the covered area. Okay, so now we're stepping through those sliding doors into the open patio area. And again, what they've done in the patio is they've used clear cover. So we've got the clear cover above, but then we also have these wooden slats underneath it. So it looks like it's just the exposed beams, but in actual fact, it is completely protected from the elements. And yes, you're right, we're looking at a gym behind me. So what can a house do without a gym? You know, what can a family do without a home gym? We've got it. In fact, it's even kitted out for you. So whilst you're having your cocktails and brying, you can contemplate, you know, jumping on the bike, for example, on the treadmill. Very nice location as well. I mean, all kidding aside. What's really nice about the location, in my opinion, is you get to see the garden in front of you as you sweat, you know, you jump into the pool. <laughs> so 
so you have the full use of the gym as it should be and if you're not into gymming you could actually turn this into perhaps a man cave or a, an exterior um pajama lounge lounge tv area so for the use of the house i mean you can easily have this as a playroom you know because if you have children kids are usually outside into the garden so they have the space to put all their pool toys and other toys that they might have so absolutely super versatile room I'm joking here because I'll probably use it as an additional playroom, storage room, but it also works really well as a gym. And then we've got the building braai, and then around the corner, there's some water storage tanks. It's a must these days in Joburg. And then a bit of a garden on the other side and access to the staff quarters that is just around the corner. Gorgeous, Marisha. Look at the design of this house. Look at this absolutely stunning statue that they've got here, very much in line also with the entire look of the space. And uh, I like the fact that they've almost like put it on a pedestal, you know, and you can see they strip lights uh, on both sides of the statue, as well as that spotlight shining up. So just imagine nighttime when it's illuminated, whilst you're entertaining, whilst you're having your cocktails, or soaking up in the pool, it will be really a magnificent effect. Of course, this is a brand new property. You see a lot of flower beds. They've taken care of adding, um, again, extra layers into the garden. So it's very much going vertical as well, which adds to your privacy. Right behind you also, they've raised the, the uh, plant bed very high and they've planted a ton of trees which give it another year will completely block the view from any neighbor even though this space is actually very private because the houses are looking away but they've put a lot of thought and attention to this so now we've done a circle we're gonna head back into the house but before we do that i want to point out of course there's a boma these days you can't have a house without a boma and what is really lovely is that right next to the boma is yet another water feature and it's bubbling so nicely that on a hot summer day i imagine this can serve as a jacuzzi as well you know you heat up too much in the boma you just jumped into the water feature we've now stepped onto the level leading back into the house massive concrete slabs really nicely done and can you see this almost piano effect keys with the grass that they've incorporated here super unique i've never seen it before i love it very nice and of course this is astro turf so you don't need to worry about having to water every single one of your piano strokes or, or to keep them in that perfect shape that uh, they currently appear correct now we've stepped into my favorite study just like with the gym you're sitting in the gym you're looking into the garden imagine working in the study and again looking out into the garden space beautiful size of the room as well and the fact that they've done these cupboards wrapped around two of the walls this suspended light which is very modern and very study like but again very different very unique for this look again we've got the wooden floors here strip lights on all the cupboards we've got exposed shelving we've got some close shaving shelving a ton of drawers as well so for a study you can tuck away all the unsightly bits very inviting you would work more is that what you're saying just like having or a less. gym i think i would work less just like i'll do less gymming <laughs> if i have to be honest <laughs> now as we have walked out of the study we back into the house and this is now the tv room tv room number two because we've already done one of the lounges on the other side this is that double sided fireplace that we saw on the other side again another very interesting suspended ceiling with another very interesting light fitting or two of them and you can see here what they've done again different lights at night this will look so interesting and uh, and so much fun actually to enjoy the space and there's even strip lights running here this is basically the half wall that separates the two lounge areas so they've thought of every single element and every single corner and these are all sliding doors 
So summertime, you open all these doors. I imagine I'll actually never close them until it's really deep winter. Gorgeous, Marusha. The open plan, like we always like to emphasize in this place, seems to never end. There's from one room into the other, guys. I mean, even if you want to just relax and watch some TV, you can look at this double-sided fireplace. Look at the size of this thing. It's quite a solid, this half wall is also quite a, quite a solid fixture, but by the fact that they've created it floating above the fire, it, it's, it feels weightless, even though it, it must weigh something. Okay, so now we're gonna head upstairs and when we come downstairs, you're gonna see the guest toilet and the guest bedroom downstairs. But let's have a look at the main bedroom because it's an absolute must see. Again, this double volume entrance, beautiful. And again, like you said, you pointed out those lights. So what they've done very nicely also with the staircase is you've got the glass, but they've also included some black strips along the balustrade, which talks to the black steel beams that are right here with all the exposed glass that you have here. And then it's a floating wood, oak wood staircase and it is also backlit. So again, it makes the stairs feel completely weightless, but they're super solid. I'm walking up and I can 100% confirm. Now you can see brushed gold and black with the floating light fitting just above the entrance hall. Very, very, very nice. nice wide runway bridge over the open plan section downstairs. Again with that glass balustrade running along the way. We're stepping into a huge pyjama lounge, it's massive, and it has its own balcony. Interestingly, indeed. And the balcony is super private. They've put that wood there. Remember, it's a pyjama lounge. So some people wear pyjamas, some don't. So that's very important. <laughs> Above us, again, strip lights. And here again, with the, we, you're gonna start seeing more of these curvy walls just to add some softness. So this wall here that is holding the TV and showcasing some of the cabinetry, already you're seeing a curvature in the wall there. Very interesting, very soft and organic shapes. We've got some more wood with all the cupboards. Here you can see the same light fitting that was above the entrance hall. Now you see it above the formal lounge. And because there's five of them here, you have black, white, and brushed gold. I have noticed the colors, very nice. I don't know if you can see, but there you have the colors as well. Nice touch. And multiple layers to the ceiling once again. And just to point out the glass, from the entrance and across the entrance facing the garden, it's literally floor to ceiling glass and steel framing. So this is quite, quite an architectural masterpiece, I must say. And of course, it brings the outdoors in. I haven't moved yet because there's a kitchenette here I wanna show you. Beautifully done, very similar to the kitchen downstairs. This is a smaller kitchenette your coffee machine or anything else, your popcorn maker. And we've got the same onyx look stone um, on the backdrop as well as the counter and some cabinets here as well for extra storage. And here it's lighter wood. So it is turning a lot lighter upstairs with the oaks, um, you know, in comparison to the bar area. Now we've stepped into the main bedroom lots of glass, this entire wall is glass, and then we have this massive space for the bed. Looking at those light fittings, you must, uh, sorry, flat points, the bed is a king-size bed, it will fit between, and then the actual bed will end here. So plenty of space for a lounge area of your own or something to maybe look out onto the garden. They've done some extra shelving here, extra lights there, you can put your TV, you can have a couch facing your TV as well. There's more than enough space for that. Also, it's great that you have the double doors swinging open. 
gives you that extra sense of volume. And now we've stepped into the walk-in closet. And I want to say I love a bedroom where you walk into a bedroom and then you walk into a closet and then you walk into a bathroom. And it's not all one room. It's very well conceptualized. Massive closet. The top of the range and the latest cream of fashion in terms of the tinted glass, the closed and the open shelving, you know, so you can display all your most beautiful pieces. Very clever what they've done with this also open drawer display cabinet style again for all your beautiful pieces and plenty of space in the middle to maybe put some ottomans so you can sit and change your multiple shoes whilst you're deciding. Now, look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bathroom. Very different again. Massive mirror. I don't know how you're gonna avoid having a selfie here, but it's really gorgeous, this mirror. It gives it so much extra depth. A ton of cupboard space even here. It's great that all the cabinetry is floating. So being a bathroom, you know, there will of course be dampness. So having the floating cabinetry, having the mirror even underneath your cupboard, it's Ooh, really that. great. There you go, hello. How unique is that? This entire wall is a mirror. And even here, you have this interesting suspended ceiling just above the doorway. Freestanding bath, beautiful oval shape, really, really great. Massive uh, shower and from there straight out onto a very private balcony as well. This is probably one of the nicer bathrooms we've seen in a while. It's gorgeous and even if you look here, this is a, a absolutely snow white Caesar stone countertop and the both basins are carved into the Caesar stone so obviously this is custom made specifically for this space and I love white in a bathroom. The floor also I have to point it out because it's this massive, massive um, marble tiles. I, I don't often see that. That's what? I, I would say it's a two meter length because this tile just carries on. It's, it's huge. I, don't, I didn't even know that you can get tiles that size for a floor. And a super interesting, just kind of a feature wall next to the bath. Very textural as well also with a lot of this pearly white and the shelf there for those candles or anything else you want. Very, very nice. Very impressive, if anything. Gorgeous space. I did mention that we've got solar back up here. Of course, I imagine whoever owns the space is going to also incorporate some automated blinds or curtains into the space, you know, for just the occasions when you need to close these beautiful windows, but most of the time I'll just enjoy looking at the outdoors. There's also central vacuum. It is a big house, so you do need that. And it's already plugged in for all the automation. Now we've stepped into uh, bedroom number two. We've seen the main bedroom. This is the second bedroom that we're seeing. This bedroom has its own balcony. And again, the oak wood flooring, a lot of cupboards for a kiddie bedroom. They've also built in that desk set up here and they've even brought in some element forward for a big headboard on the side. And again, enough space for a TV loungy area. In a very different style bathroom. This here, you have this glass separating the shower and the freestanding bath from the really beautiful basin and again, entire wall mirror. And something completely different that I've never seen before is the, the two taps knobs are built into <laughs> the floating onyx marble effect stone. Very nice, very unusual. I believe we're gonna see this next door as well. Absolutely. What do you guys think? And it's great that all these fittings, again, have that black because it stands out against the white and it speaks to the black elements with the steel beams and the balustrades. Can you imagine all of this at night, Marusha? This must be gorgeous. 
So we couldn't open the curtain in the second bedroom we saw, but this is the view. You're seeing the entire waterfall. You're very high above the rooftop of the other house. And they've done see-through balustrades again on the private balcony that each of these bedrooms has. And then they've added also the uh, uh, flower pots. So you will get the greenery as well. A lot of cupboard space here. And then another bathroom through. This is the only bathroom that is shower only. The other bathroom was full, so you can have a look. And the idea here is super high ceilings throughout the space. So this house is already very, very large, but the ceilings are exceptionally high as well. So a ton of volume. Should I show it to you like this? So you can see literally well above three meter ceilings. Of course, shadow lines and the same style shower where you have the half glass and uh, you don't actually have a door opening and closing which again i think is super clever and the exact same effect with the countertop and all floating really nice and then here again we've got those um, tap fittings built into the counter i'm really enjoying them i think they're great fun unusual I like. And we've got the fittings for TVs everywhere. And now we're heading into bedroom number four upstairs. There is an ensuite full bathroom to the left. And a very, very generous bedroom. I like the fact that the bathroom is a shower and bath once again in one. Yeah. Because a lot of people complain that there's no more baths anymore. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and, and often we see houses with no baths and it, re it really is a struggle. So absolutely, I love the fact that basically we've got most of the bedrooms are with baths and showers. I love the fact that each of the bedrooms upstairs are on each opposite corner of the house, which makes them very private. Each one has a balcony, each one has a view of greenery and a garden. And they've been super generous with the cupboard space even in the kids' bedrooms. And the quality of the cupboards is exactly the same. The super matte, the tinted glass, the bathrooms, the same top quality that we see throughout the space. Wow. Nice. At the main entrance. Look at this, guys. I can't get over this. This section, bridge, and it's down we go. gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, what did you say earlier that we're going to be doing now? Now we're going to head for the fifth bedroom, which is the guest bedroom. So as we step downstairs, I just want to point out where you've got the entrance hole and the floating staircase. There's quite a bit of space there where you can really display beautiful artwork. You can put one or two pieces of stunning furniture as well, because this is a, a big space that welcomes your guests as they come into the house. So very, very nicely done again because it brings that lightness with the floating staircase. Now, tucked away, nice and private, a guest toilet, the very interesting basin. And now we're into bedroom number five and we're catching the sunset right here. Again, a lot of cupboard space. We've got again that uh, desk set up here. So if you have a guest that wants to overstay their welcome, they can actually feel quite at home. There's a lot of packing space for them. We've got strip lighting. We've got the tinted glass once again. We have a bit of a curved wall going on there as well that also speaks to the lights uh, throughout the house. Sliding doors open into a private garden and then just around the corner, tucked away a bathroom with a shower. So two of the bedrooms have showers and three of the bedrooms have full bathrooms. So we've got the shower here and the same setup with the different fittings as the rest of the house. Very nice, very sunny room if anything. Especially now because it's sunset time and uh, the way it is, it catches the most beautiful parts of the sun actually. And this is pretty much it, but we're gonna see the garages because 
This is really a beautiful garage. They've even made the garage look stylish, very much James Bond style, in my opinion. You'll see what I mean. So I've never seen a garage that is painted completely charcoal. This is a triple garage, but extra depth. And they've even incorporated very stylish, beautiful lights, and they've brought in the interesting ceiling and a feature wall in your garage. So, of course, this deserves a very fancy car. And all the setup for the batteries and whatnot. Very nice. Very unusual, and I'm, like you said, Imagine featuring a beautiful Porsche or a BMW, whatever special make you have, right there. Three garages. Three garages and a ton of space, of course, outside. And the garages are also very deep and very high ceiling. So definitely good enough for any luxury vehicle that you can think of. Guys, let's have another look past the bar and the favorite room from Arusha. Yes, I'll be heading there now. Um, the, the treadmill is awaiting. <laughs> but this, in all fairness, look at this, guys. You're sitting at the bar. Look at this, whether it be watching a game or just your family play. How inviting is this? An ultra modern home in Warful Country Estate. I haven't figured out this space. A gym I can see happening, but given the time that gets spent here for some of us, including myself, perhaps this is not an optimal use of this space. Let's call it what it is. Sorry, I guys. I will definitely. Okay, so if it is me, I'll put a pool table here because I'm a passionate pool player. So, pool room. Here, 100%. Next to the bar, next to the cocktail. What the kids play. can play, the play area, they can bry. Well, we can bry and they can <laughs> enjoy our company, but this is it. What do you think, guys? Let me just have another look at this gorgeous setup from this side, especially now that the sun is setting. This is a gorgeous home. Here you have it. As always, any questions, make sure to reach out. Marusha's email and phone number are below. Any questions you have, about this property, hit me up in the comment section and I will take care of you there as well. Other than that, I would like to wish you a very, very nice evening. See you soon.